Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, this time, uh, I'm going to show you how to insert page number in Roman and Arabic numerals in uh, Microsoft Word document 2016. Most of you who are preparing academic papers like uh, dissertation or thesis will require to generate page number in Roman for certain pages and Arabic numerals in some other pages. So I'm going to show you how to do this, all right? Uh, let's go to, to, to the uh, uh, table of contents on, on in this document. <coughs> you can see here, uh, I have opened document like a template of dissertation. So uh, most of dissertation will have layout, which consists of uh, cover page and then uh, acknowledgement abstract table of content, uh, list of figures, uh, list of tables, uh, list of abbreviation, introduction, and so on, all right? So uh, it's depend, I mean, the sequence will depend on which university that you are going to. Uh, it doesn't matter, so that's not what we are here for. So uh <coughs> normally from uh, acknowledgement up to list of abbreviation, uh, you would have Roman numbers. <coughs> and from introduction all the way till the end, uh, you're gonna need to have uh, uh, Arabic numerals. Uh, so I'm going to show you the simplest way to do that, all right? <coughs> First thing, if you look at the menu of word processing 2016 under layout there are uh, let's move on L let's move up to to the reviews page so there are two things here all right <coughs> the first thing is uh, page break and the second is uh, next page the page break this is uh, intended to ensure uh, next title uh, will show up in, in, in uh, a new page. I will show you how to do that in a minute, all right? A and then and the second, uh, next page. So this function is intended to inform Word document that next page will have different page number, all right? Uh, now, let's do the first step, all right? Go back to home. And then you can see here there is a, a paragraph mark. If you click that, and then it will show you all hidden mark. So you can track this down. So you can always turn it off when you finish, all right? <coughs> and then uh, to, 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 uh, to have the, the, the both uh, Roman and Arabic numerals, the first step that you need to do is uh, you need to click the, uh, let's go back to the top. So, so this is the cover page of the, the, the document. So let's put cursor at the bottom of the uh, uh, cover page, all right? So go back to layout on the menu and then drop down the break and then click next page. So you can see here there is uh, a new mark here. It says section break or next page. What does it mean? Microsoft Word understand now the next page will have different page number. So normally we won't have a page number on the cover page. So I will, I'm, I'm, I'm going to just leave it blank without, uh, without page number on, on the uh, cover page. And then the second, you have to decide where you want the page number to show up in your document, all right? So to do that, you go to insert on the menu. And then you can see here at the uh, close to the right hand, uh, there is page number. And then drop down that. And then you can choose where you want the page number to show up, right? So 
you can choose at the top, bottom, or or uh, normally I, I like to have it at the bottom, at the uh, right corner. All right, so number three. So I'll choose number three on my case here. So you see here, uh, it shows uh, page number on on my uh, uh, first page. So it says zero here. What I can do, I just go ahead, right click on that page number and then click page uh, format page numbers and then I can choose whatever the, 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 the number format that I like so like we said earlier we like to have it in Roman lowercase uh, numeral uh, I mean Roman number and then we, we just I just go ahead click that and then uh, it's telling me that uh, it cannot start from zero so it needs to start from one so I choose uh, one in, in Roman so when I click that <coughs> and then uh, uh, let me go to table of content here it's still remembering the old number so uh, close the, the header and footer first and then go to my table of content when I click update so it update all of the, 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 the page number here right and, and you can see that uh, the entire document has been numbered by uh, a Roman numbering system. Now, uh, I don't want all of those document, uh, all of those pages in, in, in Roman numbers. Uh, I want from introduction uh, till the end, that is in, in Arabic numerals. So to do that, I need to go to uh, the last page of the num uh, Roman numbers which is list of abbreviation here so go down to list of abbreviation here so I want uh, between uh, let's put the the, uh, the mark back so <coughs> now uh, I want between introduction and, and list of abbreviation uh, got different page numbers so to do that, go back to layout again, and then click the break drop down and choose next the next page. So now, uh, Word document know that uh, knows that the introduction gonna have a different page numbering system, and then I can go ahead click at the bottom here. Double, just double click on, on, on the, the page number at the right corner here and then uh, right click and then click format page number again and then this time I want the number uh, Arabic numeral system 1 to 3 a and then uh, I want it start from number 1 and then I uh, can just close uh, header and footer uh, Let's go back to 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 the uh, to the uh, table of contents and see what happened. It's still remembering the, the old number here, right? And uh, let's remove the uh, paragraph mark to make it easy. A and then uh, I can click. Uh, hold on. Uh, yeah, update the table uh, numbers only. So you can see here my my uh, my uh, numbering system already changed so earlier I told you that uh, under the layout there is a page break right so uh, uh, this one so there is page break so let's let's uh, put that into practice so for instance so this is the title a and then uh, I don't want title to have a page number. I can remove that page number. And then close that. A and then uh, uh, let's put the, the uh, paragraph mark back. And between uh, acknowledgement, I want the abstract always show up in the new page, not in one page uh, with acknowledgement like this. So to do that, I go to layout and then uh, go to uh, drop down the break again 
and then choose a page break this time, all right? So you see that it goes to the next page. So by doing that, even I type so many things uh, over here, and then uh, if I reach the, 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 uh, the next page, for instance, uh, it will uh, always, the, 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 uh, the, the, uh, the uh, ab abstract will always on the new page. So I can do the same. I already did with between abstract with uh, table of contents here. A and and uh, that's about it, right? So uh, we are done wi with the, the uh, number uh, to, to, to format the, the numbering system. So uh, you can see the, the it reflects the, 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 uh, the numbers that I want to be. So that's about it. Thanks for uh, watching.